Josh appeared stoic and stone-faced in the first images from inside his courtroom sentencing. As The Sun's court reporter revealed, the disgraced reality star has been sentenced to over 12 years in prison after being found guilty of possessing CP. In the sketches, provided by artist Brandon Ballette, Josh showed little emotion. The Counting On star was wearing a tan jacket and full dark mask, which he later removed, exposing his still-present beard and mustache. Courtroom witnesses tell the son Josh looked like he has lost some hair, and his hairline appeared receding in the sketches. Josh, 34, was found guilty of possessing and receiving CP on December 9 after a nearly two-week trial. The oldest Duggar son's team requested that he spends just five years in prison, while the prosecution asked that he receive the maximum sentence of 20 years behind bars. He was, however, sentenced to 151 months, almost 12 and a half years, for the crimes. Jury selection for the trial began on Tuesday, November 30, 2021, with Josh officially being charged with receiving and possessing CP. Josh was also featured on the hit TLC show, 19 Kids and Counting, before it was cancelled in 2015 following revelations that Duggar had accost four of his sisters and a babysitter. In 2015, he apologized for his adult video addiction and for cheating on his wife, publicly announcing himself as the biggest hypocrite ever. In November of 2019, Homeland Security investigated Wholesale Motor Cars, Josh's place of employment. At the time, downloads allegedly made on a computer were flagged by the Little Rock Police Department and traced to his address. Prosecutors have said CP was downloaded to a computer at Josh's workplace in May of 2019. Homeland Security Investigations Special Agent Gerald Faulkner described the files he found in the top five of the worst of the worst that I've ever had to examine, according to The Sun's court reporter, Josh appeared stoic as he received his sentence which also includes $50,000 in fines. As he read his decision, the judge called Josh's crimes the sickest of the sick to the packed courtroom. After Josh is released, he will serve 20 more years of probation and will be forbidden from unsupervised visits with children. He will not be allowed to have a computer or view adult video of any kind. Summarizing his decision, the judge said to Josh, you have done some very bad things. But in your life as a whole, you've done good things. The true test of a man's character is what a man does when no one is watching, 